do a classic peach look um, inspired by my new um, tart peach palette the sweet peach palette okay this is the box so um, this just came out like a month ago um, in stores and you probably have seen tutorials with this palette like maybe like seven months ago when like a bunch of beauty guru gurus got like you know their you know free makeup in the mail but you know I'm not one of those lucky people I had to wait till it came out in stores and I had to buy it I think I bought this like um, on Christmas Eve there were only two left and like all of a sudden I just had to snatch it so as you guys know um, the Too Faced um, there's also like a Too Faced chocolate bar which, you know, smells like chocolate. And I've accidentally, like, um, tasted it. Like, not actually, like, you know, put my finger, taste it. I had, like, um, you know, a little bit of, uh, like, uh, one of those shades on my brush. And I wanted to make it darker. So, you know, just like, you know, I'm doing my own makeup. I just kind of licked. And I put it, I'm like, oh, my God, it tastes like chocolate. So, this is the lovely palette. This is what it looks like, and, and I must say, it smells heavenly, like peaches. Like, I had this, you know, in the box, in like um, a little drawer that I have all of my palettes in, and my whole drawer, when I opened it, smelled like peaches. Like, the, the smell was like so, so, so strong when I bought it. Okay, so let's open it up. So what it looks like. It says Too Faced on top, peach, you know, sweet peach, there's a mirror, and then here are all the shades. Like all the shades have like you know a resemblance to peaches like for example there's white peach nectar peaches and cream Georgia as in like the Georgia peach cobbler luscious just peachy candied peach caramelized puree Bellini bless her heart tempting peach pit summer yum talk dirty to me or derby actually not dirty derby spelled d-e-r-b-y delectable and charmed I'm sure so um, I used this palette to create you know my look that I have here and um, the colors are very pigmented um, from the lightest to the darkest they're all super pigmented um, if you want like if you're like a darker tone person you know you can always um, if you feel like you know the color you're not getting that much of a color payoff you can always um, wet your brush and use it and that is uh, what I did um, on the top when I did I kinda did like a cut crease type of thing so what everybody like I smell so heavenly like I'm craving just because I smell this I'm craving a peach cobbler right now <laughs> okay so with this um, with this palette I created a really simple look um, since it's you know. so if you guys like this look right here and are interested in how I created this look um, please keep on watching all right all right all right okay first thing i did was pick up the color nectar and i'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone with a flat top brush
next I'm picking up the color Georgia and um, with a fluffy brush I am going to pack this on a little above my crease area and I did uh, dampen my brush a little bit in order to like pack the color on because I really wanted um, the look to uh, be captured on camera so I just kept on packing on the color, packing on the color, packing on the color because my camera totally doesn't do it justice. picking up the color summer yum and I'm going to be placing this on my directly on my crease in order to do a cut crease and um, to darken that up a little bit once I have the color placed where I want it to I'm going to pick up the color um, tempting it's like a little a blackish color and it's going to add a bit of um, a little bit of dimension in there For the lid, I'm picking up the color Just Peach with a wet brush and I'm just going to place it all over the lid and kind of clean up the area where I sort of did the cut crease. my favorite part glitter I'm using a, a like a pinkish shade and um, an orange shade for glitter and uh, we're gonna place this on the lid where we put that color just peach and the colors together mixed in are just gonna make it pop it's gonna look so beautiful you guys trust me so I am using Too Faced uh, glitter glue uh, just to apply the glitter. <laughs> Wow, it looks beautiful. The glitter just takes this look to a whole nother level. So for liner, I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Provision. Mascara, I'm using the Tarte Tardius Lash Paint Mascara. Lashes, I'm using this really huge book by Ardell. It's called The Lash Book and it has like eight different lashes that you can use. Glamorous to simple and I'm picking... Um, I think, I believe their number is 120.
time to impress Come and climb me my bed Don't be sad, do your thing I'm grabbing the colors Nectar and White Peach to highlight my tear duct. Give it to me, I'm worth it. I'm adding Candied Peach to the lower lash line and I'm just going to smudge it, you know, just a little thicker than usual. I'm applying this color under my lower lash line a little heavier, heavier than usual and you guys will see in the next clip exactly why I'm doing this. Back in with my glitter glue, I'm going to place this on the bottom exactly where we put um, the color candied peach on the lower lash line. I'm taking the same glitter that we used on the top of our lid and I'm running it on the bottom just a little bit and this just kind of creates the whole look. It brings it all together and it just gives that under eye a pop, a gorgeous pop. In my waterline, I'm using a neutral color, and the one that I have is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I already had my contour and highlight um, already done, so the only thing that I was missing was blush. I'm using the Tarte um, blush. It is called Epic. Tarte. Here comes another Tarte item. This is from the Holiday Palette. I'm using the color, it actually doesn't have a color, but it's like a highlighter shade and I'm just using this to highlight. Peach theme. I am lining my lips with the Jordana lip liner in Rose Crush and it was kind of peachy and I'm going to go over that with Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Wild One. Don't forget to set your face. I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Hey, I was doing just fine before I met you. I drank too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Hey, you tell your friends it was fail. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, also if you guys have any suggestions on like placing the lighting, camera settings or anything like that that would make my um, eyeshadows look more pigmented like they're supposed to be on camera, please, please, please let me know. I am begging you guys. Okay. And also please like and subscribe to my channel and um, also, please click the little, um, there's like a little bell button right next to the, to, uh, the subscribe button. And uh, when, when you click that, you'll be notified of um, every time I upload a new video. So please, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Love. Everyone falls in love sometimes.